Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome back to Crepe Diem Sailing. If you're new to the channel, my name is Marco, I'm a Sail Canada cruising instructor, and in today's video, I'll be revisiting picking up a mooring buoy. In my last video on picking up mooring buoys, I followed a very traditional approach with a crew member on the bow with a boat hook picking up the buoy from there. There are some really good suggestions and comments from viewers and subscribers, one of which was to pick up the buoy here. And there's a real distinct advantage to that, especially if you're single-handed. And so right now, we're approaching the buoy. I have a bow line led from my bow cleat all the way outside of my lifelines and shrouds all the way back here. So the plan is to come up alongside the buoy and then stop right here, lean over, and slide the, uh, the dock line, or the, the, uh, the mooring line, through the mooring buoy eye, or the eye in the chain. So just coming up, up, up to it now. I'm using a bit of reverse to stop. I shift into neutral. And then I lean down, I take the end of my line, I run it through the eye, and then I'll take this end, go forward, and then set up my lazy line. I had mentioned that one of the advantages of uh, being able to uh, have pick up the boy here is being able to see it. Another distinct advantage here is that these chains that are in these boys are so heavy that when you try to lift them up with a boat hook, the boat hook will slip like that if it's telescopic. And you have to try to lift this whole chain up and sometimes it'll get caught and you're lifting the whole boy. So you're trying to do this, lifting all of this up at the bow to run the line through and then trying to release your boat hook. So it's a lot of extra work. And if you can get the boat stopped alongside, reach down, slip the line through and run it back forward, it's a much simpler way to go. Another one of the suggestions that was left in the comments was when the wind is blowing quite strongly and it'll blow your bow off when trying to pick up a mooring buoy, that it's sometimes easier to back onto the bow because the boat wants to weather vane. So right now we're backing up to the buoy. I want to be stopped with the buoy right here, right next to me. So backing with the stern into the wind, I'm going to slow down a little bit. I'm going to go into neutral. And then I have my line here, let outside of everything. I'm going to reach down, slip it through the ring, pull it back up, and then make my way forward. Another one of the comments that came from that video, uh, that first video I did on the mooring buoy a while back, was the fact that I had made one of my lines fast to a cleat, run it through the ring on the buoy, and then I came back and made it fast to the other side of the boat, and then I ran my lazy line. So if one of those lines was to chafe, yes, I had a backup, but by running it to the other side of the boat, the statement was that there might be more uh, chance of chafe. So it's better to actually take the line, run it through the ring and back to the same side of the boat, um, doing sort of a 180 at the ring, which will reduce chafing. And then obviously run your lazy line. You'll also notice, notice I do have chafing gear on these lines because they're my dock lines. So if I wanted to, I could take my dinghy down there, put the chafing gear on the ring. I think that might be going a little far, but uh, definitely the comment of running the lines back to the same side of the boat, I think is valid. And that's certainly what I'm going to be doing from now on. If you enjoyed the video, why not give us a quick thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again in our next episode where I'll be going over jibing single-handed. Till then, I wish you all fair winds and following seas.